What's up, YouTuber? Today I will bring uh, another deck profile for my friend's deck, Eradicator. Uh, this is a Eradicator build by set bo uh, booster pack 10, not from 12, because this is not a reverse deck. I will doing a, I will I will post a reverse deck maybe tomorrow or next s Sunday or Saturday. I'm not sure. It depends, because it's not that easy to get out the card. Uh, this is a deck pill he made, and it's very different from everyone else. And then let's get on to it. For the starter is Ambish Dragon Eradicator Ling Chu. It's a, it's the best starting in Vanguard right now since it killed any Grade One or Grade Zero car on the field if it hits boost if this card boosts and it hits, cause most of the decks starter are important. For instance, like Majesty, Majesty deck the Wingo Brave you don't use it. Like the deck kind of go minus and then you will you usually won't win. Like so it's really important to use it. Uh this is the best starter right now. For grade three, it's four Warring Sword Dragon. This is a break cry of the deck, which is gain ten thousand power and retire one unit in the front row. And second ability is when this card attack and your opponent have three or more damage, it turns to 13k, which is a pretty good when you attack and not bad of card. But people play two, and not like unlike my friend here play four, so it's basically a huge difference between it. So next is three descended. Descended is a good, okay card now since of uh, uh, Revenger came out and Revenger had the si basically most like most likely had the same effect because it stands but this gains a critical while the other one gains 10,000 power so for instance like you get a booster and the 10k booster for this deck for behind it it will make it to uh, 21 and then they use perfect shield to guard it then you use lemon break to stand it uh, after you stand, it's, and then you get no trigger, it's at 11. So 11 will be pretty low, and people can use a 10k, 10k shield to guard it for 2 to break. Or sometimes if they got a trigger, like a heal, they will say no pass. So that's why I think, uh, that's why he run only 3. And the last grade 3 he run is Gunlet Buster. Gunlet Buster is a card he used only for OTK, for instance like, your opponent doesn't have a perfect shield in their hand because of the skill it has it can bump up to like about 5 to 4 crit and then you could finish your opponent in one hit so that's why he run only one for OTK well some people run three Eralic Gauntlet Buster and three Descendant well only two Warring Sword so his deck is different from anyone else next for the grade 2 he run for the 12k attacker is our this is our uh the burning horn clone. It's the same effect as burning horn dragon. It's just that when its effect is when your vanguard has but it's just that your vanguard has to be eradicator, not overlord. So that's the only difference between it. Nothing else. Uh, for next grade two, he run two. Uh. I think it's friend, <laughs> Fendish Sword Eradicator uh, Chinyo. I don't really know the name, but it's a good car. Combined with uh, with this, it's pretty good since you the turn you break ride it, you retire one already, so it gains uh, three t thirteen and a critical already. And if you haven't used your starter yet, you can call this. Call this car and put it into the soul, so you could retire another car and then it gains another critical, which means it's without count without using its own effect of counter blast. You could you already return retire two unit, so it's six. So it's six. Uh, I think uh, it's already three crit plus six. Uh, 16 attack, and then with the counter blast, you could basically retire his whole field, which is pretty good. Uh. Next are Zuitan. Zuitan is a card that's I think is the like 
the better version of the old you had uh, no the Narukami, the one that when you hit and you counter block, you unflip one. Cause for the starter, uh, for the starter, you could just put it behind it, right as Vanguard and attack. If it hits, you put this card into the soul and you retire one and use his effect. You could just put one into the soul and make. On counter blast that counter blast, so which is you retire your opponent one grade one or less with no counter blast is basically a free, a free retiring. So it's pretty good by using this. Next, he only run one copy of this. I'm not sure why he run this, but he used it. He actually used it because sometimes he run this because it's a 10k uh, body right as Vanguard. Like my deck, I run uh, Liberator. Uh, Vanguard usually is supposed to be Blaster Blade. Blaster Blade plus Wingo is only 14. With this, he all he has to do is throw down a 10k shield and it will not and it makes the attack to no pass. So that's why he only run one. I think that's what he run it for. Next, he run two of this from the new set, BT12. Uh, I think he run this because he want more draw. This way, he has more card for descending to discard. Cause descending, you need three cards to stand itself. And thanks to this, you got more card in your hand, and you could re you. So this way, you could discard whatever you want. Unlike you have to make a choice. Uh, so it's pretty good. Next up for grade one, he run two of this from the new set. Uh, this is just good helper for you to uh, block your opponent from. Uh, using their intercept, cause intercept are really annoying. Come to descend it, because sometimes they could just uh, use intercept to block your attack, and then you can't do anything with it. So by not doing it, by not letting them use intercept, uh, you could just uh, pr basically win the game, and and they lost their shield, so it's faster for you to win, but. I recommend him to run four, uh, but he still he said run two, cause he think uh, when you call it, you have to use the skill order immediately, or you can't use it anymore. So that's why he only run two. Next grade one are four perfect shield. Uh, perfect shield nothing much to say. They are just for protecting yourself, and that's basically it. That's it. Like nothing else. And then he ran one copy of card that's not uh you allocated is rising uh I think it's Phoenix or or something else. It's uh, another card for him to draw extra cards in hand to hand. So this way he got more card to guard and to use it for descendant. That's or call it rear guard. That's what I think why he run this. But the weakness for this card is that you can't use, you can't use this card to put it into the soul because this card says must be a eradicator, and this is not. That's the only weakness to it. The next grade one are for the ten k attacker. It's normal. It's just ten k beater or seven k booster. Like there's nothing much to say. Also, next is our last grade one, which is the ten k booster of the deck. Uh, it's a fact that to be 10k booster, your opponent must have more than 3 damage or must have 3 or more damage to it. This way, descending will be at 21. So, like, basically, each turn it's going to be a break ride without boost. That's basically it. But I think it suck. It, it's weak because sure, it's strong, but. After you boost descendant and descendant stands, descendant will be usually at eleven or sixteen if you only got one trigger or none. So it's bad. That's why. For the trigger lineup, I run he run a crit. Uh for the from the set ten and four from the trial deck. For heal and for draw from the set set twelve. Trigger uh for the trigger is basic, nothing much to say that it's normal to run it like this. So thanks to watching my uh my friends eradicator deck build and please subscribe. Thank you.